Hello, ladies and gentlemen, a pro-ISIS group that threatened more bitter and greater Manhattan attacks after last week's deadly ramming on the West Side bike path urged more attacks on the West uh, Wednesday, yesterday, with a propaganda poster showing the Eiffel Tower extending upward as a rifle. Uh, Monday is the two-year anniversary of coordinated attacks on Paris, in which nine terrorists killed 130 people. Now, this is the Wafa Media Foundation, and it's titled the PR, and they've titled their PR poster, excuse me, The Specter of Terrorism, stating in English, you will pay very expensive price for your war on Islam. And the message adds, we will take revenge for the blood of Muslims on your land. We will kill the young before the older Watch this. Okay, now since mid-October, Wafa has released several gory posters threatening the World Cup scheduled next summer in Russia. The images showed FC Barcelona star Lionel Messi dead. French national team manager Didier Deschamps is an orange jumpsuit clad prisoner of ISIS being held at gunpoint. And Brazilian national team star Neymar da Silva Santos Jr., about to be executed. You will not enjoy security until we live it in Muslim countries, one poster vowed. And uh, there's much more on this, folks. Um, I wasn't going to go to the time to find you those complete posters. I don't think you really need them. This is um, this is propaganda, certainly, but this is propaganda that w with uh, with Satan operating the the levers of this propaganda and Satan operating those who may actually carry out these acts and uh, Satan operating whoever may be financing and encouraging those who will carry out these acts folks again is it just idle threats is it something to be taken seriously well this this is the climate of this of this fallen world that we live in today folks you've got to protect your children you've got to protect your families you've got to protect your neighbors and you have to expect that your neighbors hopefully would attempt to protect you isis antifa you can you can lift up all the boogie men uh, and all the boogie women and all the boogie, boogie persons <laughs> and um it's all legit. It all exists. Uh, Islamic terror exists. But again, there, there's always a force behind it. There's always a there's always a dark, shadowy force behind all of this, folks. Financing it, encouraging it, growing it, inspiring it, and whispering it. I will leave you a link to the, whispering to it. Excuse me. I will leave you a link to this, folks. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you to check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. America is fighting a supernatural battle. Yes, and it involves, it involves these very groups, ISIS, Antifa, you can, uh, Hezbollah, uh, Hamas, you can name them all off, uh, any, any of these groups, whether they, whether they are domestic terrorists, international terrorists. He is behind all of this. This is a supernatural battle, folks, that we are fighting right now. And this is a fiction book that maybe isn't so fictional after all. And some of the aspects of that are laid out in this fiction. If you're a watcher of World Events, folks, you ought to read this. It's available in Kindle, Kindle Unlimited, and paperback. It is very inexpensive. And you can read Chapter 1 for free. It's called Fake News. It is linked below. You'll meet indie journalist Dave Jameson. There's a lot about indie journalists in this book, folks. Check it out. Uh, there's, uh, I'd ask you, too, that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up, and please share it if you feel so led to. Check out my music down there, too. And most importantly, folks, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.